How you doing? It's Andrew. I want to teach you about the inverse of a function. All right. So what we're going to do, and it says on the given domain, but guess what? I forgot to give you a domain, but it doesn't really matter. Whatever the domain would be over here, just kind of disregard it. All right. Now to find the inverse of this particular function, all we have to do is follow a very simple series of steps. First thing is take the f of x and turn it into a y. All right. And then I'm just going to rewrite everything to keep this nice and organized. So this is just square root of three plus x. Then what I'm going to do is everywhere I have an x, I'm going to, uh, excuse me, y, I'm going to write an x, and everywhere I have an x, I'm going to write a y. So this becomes an x, okay, 2 minus then radical 3 plus y. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this equation and I'm going to solve it for y. Okay, solve this for y. So in order for me to solve this for y, I first have to get rid of the 2. So I'm going to, well, actually I'm going to take this and I'm going to add it on over to the left because this is negative, so I'm going to add this thing, right, just to make my signs maybe a little bit easier myself, I'm going to just add that, all right, 3 plus y, let me just move this around a little bit, all right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the x on over to the left-hand side, I'm just going to subtract it, all right, so what that leaves me with then, it leaves me with this alone on the left-hand side, so radical 3 plus y, and then it's going to be 2 minus x, 2 minus x. Now what I need to do is get rid of this square root because I got to find what y is. So I'm going to now square both sides. So you square the left and if you square the left, you got to square the right. Okay. Now this is going to be three plus y and that's going to equal, you can write the x first if you want, but I'm going to leave it as two minus x and that's just going to be squared. You don't have to kind of foil that out. Just leave it alone. And then all I'm going to do is solve this for y just minus, well, that's what I'm doing the whole time. But now I'm going to just subtract 3 from both sides, right? We just simply subtract a 3 from both sides. So y is going to be equal to 2 minus x squared minus 3. And that's the inverse, okay? Now to just clean this up, just remember, you're not going to leave this as y at the end. You're going to turn it back to an f of x, all right? You're going to write it f of x, but just write a little minus 1 on the top to indicate that it is the inverse function. That's all it is. All right, I'm just rewriting it. And voila, there you go. That's the inverse. All right, so hope that helps. And we can define the domain if we needed to uh, on this, but it really doesn't matter. Actually, it's going to be, you know, what would the domain be? Is there any restrictions? Are there any restrictions uh, that we uh, need to place on x or x cannot be? No, right? There's no, it's not a square root. You know, you can't take square roots of negative numbers. You can square any value in here. So x is going to be all real numbers. All right, from negative infinity to positive infinity. That's all there is to it. If you wanted to also graph these things to kind of get a visual representation of what they might look like, we can plot the first one. So we do two minus then square root of three plus x. All right, and then we'll plug uh, in the inverse on the bottom. So there's gonna be x, x minus two. Uh, where, okay, there you go. First time using the calculator. I'm just kidding. If that were the case, you'd be like, uh, should I be watching this video with this guy? No, it's not the first time. Second time. Second time I'm using it. Anyway, um, so now all we have to do is hit graph, but I'm going to do a zoom six. I'm going to do zoom standard. And now these are the functions. All right. It turns out that the original function was the one in blue, and then the inverse function is the one in red. And that's it. Thank you so very much for tuning in. I really do hope this helps. We want to help you through your classes, okay? That's what we're set up to do. we got thousands of videos out there to help you through not only math here, but chemistry and physics as well. And we're constantly building. All right. Just for you. We want to help you through your tests. We want to help you get to where you got to go. Well, academically speaking, I can't really help you if you have to go to the supermarket. Uh, well, maybe I can. Give me a call. Maybe I'll come by and pick you up. All right. Cool. Take care.